Hey, let's hang out tomorrow. We're all down. Food? Sure. What do you guys want to eat? I'm down for anything. Yeah, me too. Anything is fine with me. You pick. Okay. Have you picked a place yet? Yeah, I'm starving. No, not yet. Been busy at work. Can one of you guys pick a place to eat at? I'm down for anything. Oh man, how many of you have experienced that amongst your group of friends? Hello there, I'm Alex and welcome to Sinspiration, where I inspire you to develop a growth mindset. I am a firm believer that time spent with your family and friends is valuable, whether it's the conversations or the activity that you plan on doing. Why waste time on deciding what to eat? Do you really have to pick a good place? Is price a concern or are you just indecisive? If you follow the scenario that I showed earlier, your group's not going anywhere. No need to fret. Let me share with you some techniques to decide what to eat so you can speed up the process. It's less stressful, efficient, easy to follow, and guaranteed to lead to a final decision. Step one, eliminate options. Ask your group if there is anything that they don't want to eat. This will help narrow down your search. First, consider dietary restrictions. Vegetarian, vegan, can't eat certain types of meat, allergies. Let's not get someone sick over a meal and be courteous of their diet. Another way to eliminate options is to cross out the cuisines and restaurants that you strongly don't want to go to. These can be foods or places that you went to last week or yesterday, you had a bad experience, or you simply dislike the food altogether. If I had pizza last week, I'll vote no for pizza. If I had In-N-Out yesterday, I'll say no to it for a week. But Chinese food, I can say yes to again because there are different dishes in Chinese cuisine and different variations. By gathering info on what the group does not want to eat, it will be easier to identify a cuisine or a restaurant that suits everyone's taste buds. Step two, ask for cuisines and types of food. This is a follow-up to step one in eliminating options. Ask around the group to see what kind of cuisine everyone wants to eat. This helps you identify a subset of foods and restaurants to choose from. Chinese, Japanese, American, Mexican, French, Italian, the list goes on. From there or alternatively, ask around or suggest the type of food. Noodles, hot pot, steakhouse, seafood, Korean barbecue, teppanyaki. Can't go wrong with fast food either. At this point, you'll most likely have some idea of what restaurant to choose or at least some keywords to search in apps like Google Maps and Yelp. Step three, make two to three recommendations. If you want, you can actually skip steps one and two and jump straight into step three. This method is the most proactive towards choosing a place to eat. You can use the eliminated options and the foods that are preferred from the last two steps to identify options. We're not finalizing just yet. If everyone says, I'm good with anything, just do the work and suggest two to three places. I use Google Maps if I'm searching for restaurants near a particular location because I like the map and the search algorithm works well. If I'm looking for highly rated or popular restaurants in a particular city, I'll use Yelp and sort by most reviewed. I prefer most reviewed over rating because popular restaurants have been tried by more people. Two to three is a good number because you're not being authoritative and welcoming your friends' and family's opinions. Some people may really like one place, but dislike another. Do your best to pick places that they would actually want to go to. If everyone has no preferences, I try to pick restaurants that are fairly different. For example, I wouldn't pick two burger places. This offers more variety in the options. If you have three recommendations, See if everyone's preferences can help you narrow down to two. Even better, if everyone unanimously votes for one, because then there's your restaurant. Lastly, if my friend is visiting from out of town, his vote is taken more into account because he is the guest. Step four, make the executive decision. Even after narrowing down to two choices, there can still be difficulty in finalizing the place. Everyone might still say, yeah, go ahead, uh, you can choose. I'm good with whatever. Here we go again. I want you to be that person to just say, let's go here. If anyone objects, 
he or she will speak up. Otherwise, everyone is fine with the option that you have chosen. And there you have it. Your group has decided what to eat. Today's lesson is to be proactive in decision making. I use what to eat as an example because most of us have been in that scenario with our friends and family and just can't decide what to eat. There is no right or wrong answer. You all just want to have a good time. Why waste it on something so simple? Be the person to make the wrecks. Listen to everyone's inputs and make the final call. Believe it or not, this is a leadership trait. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and comment below with how you decide on what to eat with your group of friends and family members. Don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos and check out my page for more content on how to grow your mindset. You've been inspired today. Let's pick first and eat last.